There's Osman. Into the feet of Petrie. Shot on the turn. It was Milo Yedinak off the crossbar. Milo Yedinak looking for his first goal in the Hyundai A League. Won't come much closer than that. Well, this was a tremendous effort. Really just a half chance, but the shot on the turn from Yedinek would have been his first of the season. That's beautiful technique. Paston beaten pointless. Fabulous chance. Gunbrecht stepped on the ball. A very crude challenge from Richie Johnson. And the referee calling across the Knights midfielder who is sitting on a possible suspension if he gets another yellow card. Perhaps a bit lucky to escape. Well, Gunbrecht did dangle the cheese by standing on the ball for Richie Johnson. It <laughs> doesn't take second invitations for him to come in and have a go at you. Then it comes from Porter. Deep ball, free header, straight at the keeper. Paston's made the save. And it's gone over the top from who else but Adam Kwasnick. Beautiful ball over the top from Porter. Mila Yedinek ghosting at the back stick. Jonas Sully lost him completely. Good header on goal, good save from Paston. And Kwasnick with the postscript. There she goes. Look out, Brisbane Water. Well, he was a striker himself, Laurie McKenna. He will know that if they keep missing these chances, they'll come back to haunt them. Well, there's no communication there between Bunce and Paston. Keeper was off his line. But uh, Bunce taking matters into his own hands. Brown's corner. The header and the save from Paston. Alex Wilkinson, it was with the contact, still looking for his first goal in the Hyundai A-League. That's about as close as he's come. He did well there, Wilkinson. He was falling backwards. Fabulous angled header. It's going to be a five-man forward line for the Central Coast in the final 15 minutes or so. Petrie, Stewie Petrie, a hand from Paston, off the line by the Knights defender, Richie Johnson. They were celebrating prematurely. It didn't cross the line. It's play on. Well, is that the moment in which the Mariners season turns? Laurie McKenna thought it was in. The crowd thought it was in. But the referee ruled otherwise. Well, Paston did enough. Richie Johnson wasn't hanging around to find out. He's done a terrific job. Well, that will be a talking point, won't it? How close well, is this? Protagonist of the end goal, camera angle, oh. will be beating their chests at the top of every hill. The whole of the ball has to cross the line. Ben Williams ruled the ball did not go in the goal. No goal for the Mariners. Well, well, well. You don't get the points tonight, and the Marinators will be doing something they never thought they would, and that's will be back in Sydney MC against Adelaide as Adelaide is Central Coast's last game of the season. They'll need points out of that, goes without saying. Really test the allegiance of a club and its fans. Five minutes left here in Gosford. The Central Coast searching for the late winner. It's gone just wide from Paul O'Grady. Well, he has been the man in the past to score late goals, Paul O'Grady. But some lack of conviction in the defending from the Knights. And on the turn, Paul O'Grady, that's a great chance from a centre-half. Paston was beaten. Turned a half one into a full one. He w couldn't manage to trouble the scorer. He wouldn't have got there, the goalkeeper. Johnson. Clever ball in behind, picking out the run of Marcina. It's Marcina against the goalkeeper. Big save from Danny Vukovic. Which I'll say it was a big save. His right foot has been very ordinary all night, except for when his team needed him. Danny Vukovic, his right boot has saved his team from A-League oblivion.